Okay, everyone, let me move myself to the top right here. Uh, I say to you, happy, well, today I'm filming on Friday, but hopefully you'll be viewing this next week. Uh, so can you believe that we are now beginning week 11, which is our last week of teaching videos. So I hope that you have enjoyed um, the teaching videos during this term. We have needed to be creative with learning and I have greatly appreciated your efforts. So uh, for today, day one for week 11, I'm going to give you a PowerPoint presentation and for today's first lesson, perhaps second lesson as well, we are going to do some pronunciation practice. So I'll give you a brief review about some uh, commonly used pronunciation uh, sounds. Then we'll talk about some um, tongue twisters. And as well, I would like to show you a couple video clips so I hope that today's technology will go smoothly. So um, if you are ready, let's uh, continue on. Oops, let me uh, fix this here. Sorry, my cursor, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna start by learning some tongue twisters and um, doing some also basic pronunciation practice with word pairs and uh, pronunciation methods, how to make certain sounds. Okay, so let's start with some um, review, basic review with sounds. So I know that you have studied this probably in the past but I hope that this will be a good review before we jump into the exercises. Starting with the L sound, L sound. So the tip of your tongue goes on the roof of your mouth. So roof of your mouth, meaning <clears throat> the upper part of your mouth inside and the tip of the tongue, meaning the very edge, the, t the tip. Okay, so L, you can, if you notice what's happening here, uh, the tip of my tongue, L, goes on the roof of my mouth. So not the bottom part, I'm putting it on the top part of my mouth. Okay, the R sound. The tip of your tongue does not go on the roof of your mouth, but arches in the center of your mouth. So when I say arch, I'm meaning kind of like this. <laughs> uh, imagine this is your tongue and it's arching like this inside your mouth. So let's try it. R. If you notice the, the curvature of my tongue, R. Okay. Also sounds like a pirate. <laughs> okay. So one more time. L and R, R. Let's go to the third one, V. The V sound, your teeth touch your bottom lip, bottom lip, okay? And you push sound out with a flat tongue. So flat, if my tongue is flat at this moment, uh, now V, sorry, L, R, and V, I should mention that these are voiced sounds. So we talked about in class before, as I speak, I can hear my voice box. It's vibrating in my throat. I can feel the vibration. So we call this a voiced sound. So V is voiced, V, V. So do you notice um, my tongue is flat? V, if you look closely below, okay. And so what I do is I push out a sound with my flat tongue, touching the bottom lip, V, V. 
So you notice my teeth are touching only the bottom lip. V. Okay, let's go to TH. One of the most common sounds, I think, in English. This is voiceless. So if I make this sound and I feel my voice box, I cannot feel anything. I just feel air. So you may notice that the tip of my tongue goes between my teeth. So I'm using top and bottom, okay? <laughs> All right, this is a very personal, intimate lesson here. So um, also, you notice my tongue is flat. I did not put this here, but your tongue is also flat as you push air out. Okay, let's move on to the S sound, S. Okay, as we know, it sounds like a snake. Um, it is voiceless, S voiceless. I don't feel anything in my voice, in my throat when I make the S sound. So in this uh, sound, my tongue goes behind my teeth and the teeth go together. S okay, S now, if you can see inside my uh, teeth, my tongue is also flat. S tongue is flat like this. I'm not arching it. I'm not using the tip of my tongue. It's a flat sound and I push air out. Okay, now the SH is also voiceless, similar but different. Okay. So with a flat curve, sorry, flat tongue curved behind my lower teeth. Shh. If you notice the tongue, my tongue is like this. Okay, and behind my lower teeth. Shh. Shh. Okay, so I'm I'm pushing air out, but I'm not touching my teeth. Sorry, my tongue is not touching my teeth. Shh, shh. I feel if I feel closely when my tongue is arched, I'm touching the gum below my lower teeth. So I'm not going anywhere near the top or roof of my mouth. It's a uh, my tongue is arched, shh, and it's a uh, touching below my bottom teeth. Okay, now finally with F, it's another voiceless sound, F. So you notice my upper teeth I'm using a lot. So my tongue touches the gum below my bottom teeth again. And the lower lip is touching my upper teeth. So my lower lip is touching my upper teeth. If you see that lower lip, upper teeth. Okay. I know it's a little funny and I hope that you are having a good laugh to yourself <laughs> as I demonstrate and make these sounds for, for us. Okay. So you might want to take a picture of this screen, uh, maybe take a few notes and I hope that it's been a good help and review before we move on. Okay. So let's move on to some difficult word pairs to practice. Okay, so you will notice that a lot of the sounds that we practiced before are represented on this slide. So we're gonna go through these one by one. You notice that sometimes the words rhyme, okay, meaning they sound similar but we're going to repeat several times as we go through each one. Are you ready? Okay. Rock, lock, rock, lock. Okay. Uh, now I'm sitting closer so that you can observe what's happening on my face. <laughs> rock, lock. 
okay? You notice the flat tongue, luck, luck. Okay, let's move to the second one. Tender, vendor, t, t, t is also silent, not silent, but voiceless. T, t, tender, now we have the V, vendor, tender, vendor, vendor. Okay, third one, thick, slick, thick. Slick, slick. We have S and L, difficult combination with slick. Thick and slick, okay? It's unfortunate I can't hear you, but I trust and hope that you are repeating these words out loud. And I also encourage you later Maybe go to a mirror and practice in front of a mirror. Let's go to the fourth one. Gra sorry, glamour, glamour, grammar. So sounds similar, but we have L and R. I'm using sign language, sorry. L in sign language and R in sign language. Glamour, grammar. Okay, one more time, try again. Glamour, grammar. Good. Okay, the next one. Loyal, royal. Royal is a little bit difficult to pronounce, I think. Loyal, royal. One more time. Loyal, royal. Okay, good. Let's go to the last one. Vast, fast, vast, fast. Okay. Now, um, I I use the F sound here because um, since uh, everyone participating in the videos, well, we have. Um, uh, one Chinese student and the rest are Korean participating, but in both languages, I think F and L and P can be difficult to pronounce in English. Um, so that's why I have some L words here and F words here. So one more time, let's go from the top to the bottom. Repeat after me. Rock, lock. Tender, Vendor, thick, slick, glamour, grammar, loyal, royal, vast, fast. I think this one is the most difficult, the last one. Vast, fast. And I think a big difference is voice less for vast and voice, sorry, voiced for vast and voice less for fast. Voice, vast, voice less, fast. Okay, I'm talking about the V and the F. How did you do on this slide? I hope okay. Okay, let's continue on. Now for some summer related tongue twisters. Okay, so we warmed up a little bit. I hope your mouths are loose and ready. So <laughs> let's begin and I will read first and you repeat after me. Okay, Seth sat in the sun singing summer songs. Seth sat in the sun singing summer songs. Okay, one more time. Seth sat in the sun singing summer songs. Okay, I hope it helps to see closely what's happening right here. Second one. Welcome, warm weather. We're really weary of winter. 
Welcome, warm weather. We're really weary of winter. Okay, I should try to read it more quickly now. Welcome, warm weather. We're really weary of winter. This one is difficult, don't you think? So we're practicing W here. Welcome, warm weather. We're really, now, w and r, I'm making the same shape with my mouth, but my tongue is in the different position. W. You see my tongue is flat. W. W. Touching the bottom teeth. Welcome warm weather. We're really weary of winter. Okay, say it again to yourself. Okay. The third one with F. We're going to practice with F. Fran found fabulous flip-flops for flipping and flopping. Fran is a woman's name. Fran found fabulous flip-flops, flip-flops meaning the summer shoes, for flipping and flopping. Okay, let's take it one by one. Fran found fabulous flip-flops for flipping and flopping. Ah, e, ah. Okay, sorry, a bug is flying in front of my face. <laughs> All right, one more time quickly. Fran found fabulous flip flops for flipping and flopping. Okay, the fourth one, practicing S. Sandy sings songs about a super sunny summer. Sandy sings songs about a super sunny summer. Now, do you notice after sings, S-I-N-G-S, -S, we end with an S and we're starting with another S. So in this situation, we will link or connect the two S's together. Sings songs, sings songs, okay? One more time, slowly. Sandy sings songs about a super sunny summer, okay? Quickly, Sandy sings songs about a super sunny summer. Repeat, okay? The next one, we're talking, we're practicing with B and BR combination. The bright beach ball bounced around the beach. The bright beach ball bounced around the beach. Okay, so try it again slowly. The bright beach, remember E, B, ball bounced. Now at the end with ED, we've talked about in the past, there are three different pronunciation um, styles or ways with ED. One of them, ED, sounds like a T. So after a consonant, bounced, we have a C is the consonant bounced. It sounds like a T. Okay. Around the beach. Okay. The bright beach ball bounced around the beach. Okay. Next one with P and L. Okay. Pippa, woman's name. Pippa and her poodle pranced around a perfect little puddle. This one's a little tough, isn't it? One more time. Pippa and her poodle pranced around a perfect little puddle. Okay, let's go a little slower. Pippa, Pippa and her poodle, poodle pranced around a perfect little puddle. 
Okay, I've often talked about American style pronunciation. If we have a double consonant like, pardon me, like a double T, sometimes the double T sounds like a D, little, little. Okay, and puddle is the same pronunciation. Little puddle, little puddle. Do you notice at the end I'm holding the L sound at the roof of my mouth? Okay, and uh, last one with L and P. Little Larry lazed around the pool after school. Okay, now let's try it American style. Little, little, little Larry lazed around the pool after school. Little Larry lazed around the pool after school. Okay, quickly. Little Larry lazed around the pool after school. Little Larry lazed around the pool after school. Okay, this one's not as difficult as some other ones, don't you think? Okay, now you might want to take a picture of the screen so you can practice again on your own. And you know what? Take a challenge and talk with a partner. Okay, now at the beginning of segment two, we will come back and finish this PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I will see you in a few moments.